Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nimisha Bish and I'm back with fourth part of the chapter Mineral and Power Resources. First of all, let's revise what we have studied in the previous first, second and third part. In the first part, we studied about what are minerals, what are, where are they found, types of minerals and how are they extracted. In the second part, we studied about distribution of minerals in the entire world in which we read about the seven continents. And in the third part, we studied distribution of minerals in India, uses of minerals and conservation of minerals. Now let's get started with the fourth part in which we will study about power resources. For this, let's hear a story of Sunny and his mother. Sunny's mother begins her day by switching on the geyser. She irons Sunny's school uniform and then she rushes to the kitchen to make the orange juice in the blender. Then she prepares breakfast for him in the kitchen. While going to school, Sunny forgets to switch off lights and fan. When her mother switches them off, she thinks that dependency on more and more gadgets which consume energy has led to a wide gap between the demand of power resources and its supply. हम इतने ज़्यादा dependent है power resources पे कि हमें power resources हर जगह चाहिए उसकी demand ज़्यादा है और supply कम है power resources plays a vital role in our lives. We need power for agriculture, industry, transport, communication and defense. Power resources are of two types, conventional and non-conventional resources. Now what are conventional resources? Conventional sources of energy are those which have been in common use for a long time. For example, firewood and fossil fuel. Conventional fuel. sources, वो sources होते हैं जो हम लंबे समय से use करते आ रहे हैं, लेकिन वो sources limited quantity में हैं. जैसे firewood, fossil fuels, जैसे coal, petroleum, natural gas, ये सब conventional sources हैं, जो कि हम लंबे समय से use करते आ रहे हैं, लेकिन ये limited quantity में हैं, ये non-renewable sources हैं, और ये जल्दी exhaust हो सकते हैं. Conventional sources के examples को detail में पढ़ते हैं सबसे पहले firewood. Firewood is widely used for cooking and heating in our country. More than 50% of energy used by villagers comes from firewood. A firewood के advantages क्या हैं और disadvantages क्या? Firewood easily accessible है हमें easily मिल जाता है ये it provides energy to a large number of people. जैसे हमने पहले पढ़ा कि more than 50% of energy is used by villagers which comes from firewood. इसके disadvantages ये हैं कि इसको collect करने में time लगता है, time consuming है, polluting है. It promotes greenhouse effect and it causes deforestation. Now let's talk about fossil fuels. What are fossil fuels? Remains of plants and animals which were buried under the earth for millions of years got converted by the heat and pressure into fossil fuels such as coal, petroleum and natural gas. They are the main sources of conventional energy. We will study in detail about coal, petroleum and natural gas in the next part. Till then, take care of yourself everyone. See you soon and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.